basic rhythm and slide guitar tricks in open E tuning. Oh. Okay, a close look at the fretboard, getting started with this mini lesson, breaking down some rhythm and slide guitar techniques in open E tune-in. So section one here, I'm just gonna show you how to get into the tune-in itself. So placing your guitar in open E tune-in means that you're adjusting the pitches of the A string, D string, and the G string to match those that are present inside a basic open E major chord. Okay, so we need to tune this A string to a B note. We need to tune the D string to an E note. Okay, so both of those strings are going up one whole step. And we need to tune the uh, G string up to G sharp, a half step. Okay, this is something that you can actually get by ear if you know what to listen for. So let's check it out. I'm gonna go up a whole step on my A string. And you're just gonna keep going until it sounds good, until it sounds like a chord. Now you can also use a clip-on tuner to make sure that you have a B natural right there on the A string. Okay, now I need to tune the D string up one whole step. I'm listening for it. Okay, so the sound that you're listening for there is the sound of the E string and the D string matching each other, because now they're both producing E notes. Okay, then moving on to the G string. Right now we're producing the chord E minor. We need to raise that G string up a half step to a major third. All right there, you hear that sound? It's becoming major right there. All right, check that with my uh, tuner. Just a hair flat. All right. And I also wanna make sure that the B string and the high E string are also still sounding good. Okay, so there we have it. Open E, tune in. An E, a B, another E, a G sharp or an A flat, same thing. B, a little flat. And E again. All right, perfect. Now we're ready to play some slide. Okay, very good everybody. Now that we're all tuned up and you know how to get into this, open E tuning, we're gonna jump into section two here, how to play a basic one, four, five blues progression, in this case in the key of E, when playing an open E tuning. So in this tuning, it's actually really, really simple. To play the one chord in the key of E, E major, you can just play the strings open. Or you could bar the 12th fret or use your slide to slide up into that position. Okay, for the four chord, let's see what the four chord is in the key of E. E, F sharp, G sharp, A. The major scale reveals all, there it is. The fourth note in the key of E is A, so therefore the four chord in that key is A major. And you can produce that just by barring the fifth fret or using your slide. Okay, and then you can take that up a whole step to produce the chord B major. Okay, so there you have it, a one, four, five progression in the key of E using open E tune-in. E major, A major, B major. So now I can play a basic blues progression. E, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, E, two, three, Four, A, two, three, four, and A, two, three, four, and A, two, three, four, and E, two, three, four, E, two, three, four, and B, two, three, four, and A, two, three, four, and E, and A, and E, and B, and back to the E chord to start over again. Okay, so very good. Now we know how to get into the tuning and we know how to play 
one of the most important chord progressions in all of music using open E tuning. Okay, moving right along now to section three of this lesson. Now that we have our guitars all tuned up and we're able to perform that basic one, four, five progression in the key of E, let's learn to make our blues sound a little bit more authentic using the common shuffle pattern. We're also going to add in a little bit of slide work. Okay, over top of that E chord. And for today's lesson, let's focus just on the one chord E major. I'm definitely going to have a follow up to this lesson where I show you some slide techniques for all three chords in the 12 bar blues. Okay, so let's break down this shuffle riff over the one chord E major. It's gonna sound like this once more, real slow. With that nice optional upstroke. This is what you're seeing right there in measure one of the tab. Okay, so what I'm doing there, on the A string I'm playing. O, O, two, two, three, three, two. And then throwing in an upstroke on the high E string, B string, maybe a little bit of the G string. I also have the low E string journin with my palm way back here on the saddle to get that nice muted kind of palm mute effect. Okay, so you put that together and we have. Okay, now alternatively, you can also throw in a little bit of slide there. I'm gonna put my fingers into configuration. They kind of make a little bit of a pyramid shape with my slide having some extra support by my fingers staying close together. I've got my pinky raised up a little bit on top of the slide, so that way it stays out of the way whenever I need to use it. Okay, then the other thing that's on my mind, whenever I wanna use my slide, is I'm going to keep a nice light touch. Okay, if I press too hard, Oh, I'm gonna bottom out the string and I'm going to create this really unpleasant rattling noise. Okay, so a nice light touch is all you need to get a nice clean slide sound and it takes some time to kind of calibrate that, so be patient. Okay, so implementing the slide, in measure one we have the basic shuffle. Now in measure two we've got oh, oh, two, two, three, oh. All right, classic blues right there. I'm playing O, O, two, two, three, O, slide to three, E string, A string, and D string involved there, down to two, and then the open E string and the A string to get yourself back into the shuffle in the next measure. Okay, so, O, O, two, two, three, O. All right, so it's a slide up and then back. Okay, and with the slide. All right, and you put it together and we've got O, O, two, two, three, O. And you can jump right back in the shuffle. Okay, now if you look at measure four there, we have one last trick that we're gonna learn for today, sliding up into the upper octave. So we could play. O, O, two, two, three, O. Okay, so that's pretty simple. We're sliding up to the 12th fret of the E string, A string, and D string on a very specific beat, beat number four in the measure. So one, two, three, and four, and. And then from there, right after we've slid up, on the end, we can either hit the G string or the D string or both. Maybe implement a little bit of hybrid picking. Okay, and then you can move the slide side to side to get a little bit of vibrato. All right, now pitch is the most important thing. So make sure that you're practicing, uh, maybe singing as you play, or you can also use your clip-on tuner to gauge how close you are to making sure that you're playing in tune with the slide. Okay, so you put that together and we have one, Great tricks now. Okay, sometimes I go a little bit wild with it and just strum a whole bunch of strings as I hit that vibrato. 
Okay, so you put this all together and we have and one, two, three, and four, up one. Okay, some classic blues techniques for you to practice with your slide and open e tune in.